Hi everyone and welcome to the last video in this series. I have to admit it'll be nice to get my weekends back to myself because I'm terrible at leaving these videos until Friday or Saturday to work on and then they usually take until Sunday night until I finish them and put them on YouTube. So this last painting came about because I was indecisive as to whether to make a climate related landscape painting or not. It was around the time when there was all of these fires. It was around the time of August when they were out of control in different countries around the world and I just couldn't decide if painting something like that would be the right thing to do or not. I decided not to go ahead with the subject and I started drawing out a kind of a coastal lighthouse scene which is from Anglesey and Wales. Very quickly I decided that it wasn't working for me so I changed to the wildfire painting that I originally wanted to do. Before I talk any further I just want to mention that I'm going to share an important video by conservationist Chris Packham in the description box below. It's a couple of minutes long and he communicates his disappointment about the outcome of COP26 so well and I'd encourage you to take a look and watch his video through to the end. So this week has been the closing of the COP26 which was held for two weeks in Glasgow here in the UK. I've been following it on the news since it started and I think everyone knew that not much was going to come from it but I did try and keep my hopes up. The thing is that the environmental problems caused by carbon emissions is not an easy thing to fix without all countries being on board and it's now obvious that there's a few countries that aren't wanting to make any change at all and also most or all of the rich countries doing as little as possible when these are the only ones that can be making the most difference. So air pollution is one of the biggest problems of climate change caused by the likes of the oil, gas and coal industries. But air pollution as well as water pollution is also caused by the meat farming industry. Now there's not much we can do about the fuel industries. They've been basically getting away with everything in the past by denying and delaying action, even passing the blame to us. At COP26 there was an alarming number of fossil fuel lobbyists. Their influence is one of the biggest reasons why nothing has ever been done. The only way it can be stopped is for lobbyists to be banned from these kind of conferences. With regards to the pollution caused by meat farming, I've been a vegetarian for around 20 years and recently in the past 5 or 6 years started exploring plant-based foods. Listening to podcasts on a vegan or plant-based diet has opened my eyes massively to how meat and dairy negatively impacts our health. If it's something you might be interested in, I'll leave a few suggestions below of the podcasts I follow. And if you have any suggestions of podcasts or videos to watch um, regarding this, then leave them in the comments below and I'll take a look. Even if you're happy with a meat diet, then I'd still recommend reading up on what's in your food. There's a huge amount of false information created by the meat and dairy industry and its lobbyists. You only have to take a look back to the tobacco industry in the 1950s to see how far companies will go to cover up important information from you. The tobacco company's plan was to interfere with the science that showed the harm caused by the cigarettes and they also manipulated the evidence and research that proved that cigarettes were deadly. There's so many topics to talk about regarding the pollution that's destroying our planet, like air travel, deforestation for rearing meat, which is the cause of us losing the Amazon forest right now, plastics polluting our ocean, overfishing, just basically overconsuming. I came across this quote by Jonathan Park, which gives a simple description of the relationship between climate change and capitalism. While capitalism has produced a plethora of socio-economic benefits over its relatively brief history, it has also instigated unforeseen and undesirable consequences. With every product having a byproduct, our ability to extract and consume an immense bounty of natural resources has generated a correspondingly monstrous amount of waste in the form of physical garbage, atmospheric pollution and other forms of environmental degradation. 
Global climate change has been the most severe consequence of our society's excessive atmospheric pollution. If anti-capitalism is something you're interested in, then one podcast I'd recommend is David Harvey's Anti-Capitalist Chronicles. Oh, and Russell Brand's channel on YouTube is eye-opening too, so I'd definitely recommend that. So I hope you've made it to the end of this video. I was a bit worried that the subjects I've talked about might have put people off, but I find these subjects so interesting to learn about. I hope you've liked the painting that I've done. It wasn't one of my best ones, so I did feel a bit apprehensive about sharing it, but I just felt like it had a strong message to it with what's going on in the world right now. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below about this video and what I've talked about. Um, and I'll be back making a new video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.